rest. Yeah. Hello. Hello, Mary. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. All right. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. All right. Is it still um uh is it still afternoon in Vietnam? Yes. Okay. All right. Oh well, Mary, can you put can you put your camera closer to your face because I cannot see you clearly. Okay. It's okay now. Can you say hello, Mary? Because teacher cannot hear you. Hello. Okay, there you go. I can hear you now. Okay, so have happy new year, Mary. Yeah. All right. Did you celebrate New Year in Vietnam also? Yeah. Okay. Well, how did you celebrate New Year? Um, I'm eat dinner with my family. Okay, you ate dinner with your family. Okay, did you have fireworks also? No. Uh, no. Okay, why? Are you afraid of fireworks? Mm, no, because um, we have uh, COVID and we not have firework. Oh, okay. So you just stayed at home? Yes. Okay, very good. So um, are you still, or I mean, even though it's New Year, were you still able to attend your class in school? Online class? Mm, yes. Okay, that's good. Because right um, here in the Philippines, the class just started today. Okay, it's January 3rd or 3rd of January. This is the first day of school here in the Philippines after Christmas and New Year holiday break. All right. Anyway, Mary... So, well, for tonight, we're going to have um, an activity to do because we are already finished in Unit 12, which is about the planets, okay? Okay. All right, let's begin now, Mary.
Okay, so this is Unit 12A, Mary, which is listening and speaking activity. All right, so the first one is listening, Mary. Let's begin with part number one. Okay, part number one is five points. Listen and draw. There is one example. Okay, are we finished in this one, Mary, or not yet? Mm. Not yet? Yes. Yes, no. Okay, because I, I remembered our last lesson was about the planets, okay? So let's begin, Mary. Um, I'm going to, um, what do you call this one? I'm going to play a recording and then all you have to do is to listen and draw lines on your answer, okay? Oh, why okay. are you entering? What's this? Um, uh, because I uh, am uh, uh, want to uh, the uh, on the, uh, the, the the zoom on the iPhone and I am uh, study uh, by computer. Okay, do you want me to enter this one? Yes. Okay. All right, I accepted your other device or gadget. Okay, so you're using the computer now? Yes. Okay, oh, wait a minute, can you say hello? Hello? Oh, your, your, your voice is too small. Can you put a little bit of your volume? It's okay. Yes, it's okay now. All right, let's begin, Mary. Part one. Listen and look. There is one example. I'm looking for Harry. Where is he? He's standing near the tree. With snow on his head? Yes, some snow's just fallen on his head. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. And which girl is Emma? She's sitting on a sledge. With a dog? That's right. Look at David. What's he doing? He's making the biggest snowman in the world. Where's Patch? She's skiing down the hill. Oh yes, she's good, isn't she? Peter's very strong. Why, what's he doing? He's pulling that sledge. Look at Helen. Where is she? There, look. She's throwing snowballs at the snowman. Oh, yes. One's just hit the snowman's head. Now listen to part one again. All right, are you finished, Mary? Okay. Again. Oh, you want to listen again? Yes. Okay. Which girl is Emma? She's sitting on a sledge. With a dog? That's right. Look at David. What's he doing? He's making the biggest snowman in the world. Where's Patch? She's skiing down the hill. Oh yes, she's good, isn't she? Peter's very strong. Why? What's he doing? He's pulling that sledge. 
Look at Helen. Where is she? There, look. She's throwing snowballs at the snowman. Oh, yes. One's just hit the snowman's head. That is the end of part one. All right, I can see that you are finished answering already. Okay, let's check your answers, Mary. Number one, Emma and the girl on the sledge with the dog. Okay, that's correct. Number two, David and the boy making a snowman. Correct. Also, number three, Pat and the girl skiing. Correct. Number four, Peter and the boy pulling the sledge. Wait a minute. I cannot see the line. Um, okay, I think this one is wrong. Okay, next one. Oh, okay. I can see now. Yeah, the one that you have drawn a line is the boy who is pushing, who is pushing the sledge, not pulling, okay? On number five, Helen and the girl throwing snowballs at the snowman. Okay, let me see where is your line, okay? So, that's okay, Mary, because you have four points in this activity and one wrong answer. Okay, let's begin to the next part, which is part number two. Part number two, Mary has five points also, okay? Now, all you have to do is to listen again to the recording and then just write the information and details that you will hear from the audio, okay? Are you ready, Mary? Yeah. Okay, let's begin. Part two, listen and look. There is one example. Hello, Sue. I'm a journalist. I'm going to do a program about jobs. Can I ask you some questions, please? Yes, of course. What's your surname? Clark. Is that C-L-A-R-K? That's right. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. And what do you do, Sue? What's your job? I'm an artist. Do you paint pictures? No, I'm not that kind of artist. I make things. Oh, I see. So, if you don't paint, what do you make things with? Sometimes I use metal, but I prefer making things with wood. I see. Hmm. Now, can you tell me about your day, Sue? Do you start work early? Yes, I do. I work from 7 o'clock in the morning until midday. So you have to get up early then. And where do you like to work? I do all my work in the basement. It's nice and quiet there. Did you make these things here? They're lovely. Yes. And this is my favourite. Oh, a music box. Yes. And if you turn the key, it plays a song. Now listen to part two again. And what do you do, Sue? What's your job? I'm an artist. Do you paint pictures? No, I'm not that kind of artist. I make things. Oh, I see. So, if you don't paint, what do you make things with? Sometimes I use metal, but I prefer making things with wood. I see. Hmm. Now, can you tell me about your day, Sue? Do you start work early? Yes, I do. I work from 7 o'clock in the morning until midday. So you have to get up early then. And where do you like to work? I do all my work in the basement. It's nice and quiet there. Did you make these things here? They're lovely. Yes. And this is my favourite. Oh, a music box. Yes. And if you turn the key, it plays a song. That is the end of part two. Okay, let's check your answers now. All right, so the name of the name of the girl is Sue Clark. Okay, so her job is an artist, correct? Make things with metal and wood. Okay, it's wood, not word. Okay, next one. Starts work at 7 o'clock. That's correct. Place of work is 
basement. Okay, it should be basement, not basement. Oh, why? Did you didn't you hear it clearly? You yes. didn't hear it clearly. Oh, okay, I see. Next one, the favorite thing is the music box. Okay, that's correct, Mary. One, two, and three, because this are wrong spelling. Okay. Now, Mary, let's proceed to part number three with five points. All right. Listen and write a letter in each box. There is one example. So Jim's mom went shopping and bought lots of presents for her friends. What did she buy for each person? Okay, let's listen now, Mary Ann. You just have to write again the letter of your answer in the box. Part three. Listen and look. There is one example. Jim's mum went shopping and bought lots of presents for her friends. What did she buy for each person? Where did you go today, mum? I went shopping in town, Jim. I wanted to buy some presents for my friends at work. You know Tony? Yes. Well, I got him a belt. He'll like that. It wasn't expensive, but it's very nice. Can you see the letter E? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. It was difficult to choose something for Betty. So did you buy her something? Yes. I found a nice scarf in the big shop next to the park. She'll like that, I'm sure. She likes going to football matches at the weekends. She can wear it there. Then I went to the bookshop to find something for Richard. He helps me a lot at work. Does he? Yes. I wanted to get him a new diary, but they didn't have any nice ones. Then I found this dictionary and thought, that's a good idea. So I bought that. And you met Sarah last week? Yes. Did you get something for her, too? Yes. She loves skiing. So I found some great gloves for her. They're a lovely dark blue colour. Then I went to the music shop. What did you buy there? Well, I wanted to get Robert a CD of some guitar music. He loves that. But I couldn't find one that I liked. I was going out of the door when I saw another one. I stopped to look at it, then decided to listen to it. It was great, so I bought that one for him. What else did you buy? I needed something for Lucy. I got a torch. It's not very exciting, but I couldn't find anything else. I thought about a video before that, but I don't think she watches those now. But why are you buying all these presents, Mum? Because on Monday, I'm starting a new job. And I have to leave all my friends at work. Now listen to part three again. All right. Okay. So are you finished now with your answers? Yes. Okay, let's check. So the example here is Tony, which is letter E. Okay, letter E is a belt. Okay, so Sarah is letter G, which is the gloves, correct? Richard is letter F, which is the book, correct? Betty is letter, what's that letter? Letter C, which is the scarf. Robert is letter B, which is the CD, and last one is Lucy, which is letter D. Okay, letter D is a torch or a flashlight. Okay, so you are... Oh, wait a minute. This is wrong. Okay, so one, two, three, and four points for you. All right, next one, Mary, which is... We are now in part number four with five points. Okay, now, Mary, all you have to do is to listen and tick the box of your answer. Okay, there's one example. Part four. Listen and look. There is one example. 
What did Jill do at the weekend? Hello, Jill. Did you enjoy your weekend at your aunt's? Yes, it was lovely. On Saturday, I went riding in the mountains. On your bike? No, on a horse. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. 1. Which person is Jill's cousin? Who did you go with? My cousin, Ben. Oh yes, I know Ben. He's got brown hair and glasses, hasn't he? He wears glasses, but his hair's blonde. 2. How did Jill go to her aunt's house? How did you go to your aunt's house, Jill? By car? No, because my dad was working and he couldn't take me. So did you go by bus? That's right. It's cheaper than the train. 3. Which house is Jill's aunt's? What's your aunt's house like? Well, it's very big, with three floors. That sounds nice. Yes, and it's got a garden with apple trees. 4. What did Jill and her cousin do? Did you eat any of the apples? No, they weren't sweet enough. Did you climb the trees then? No, my aunt doesn't let us. But we've got a swing on one of the trees. We played on that. Was it sunny on Saturday? No, it wasn't. 5. What time did Jill arrive home on Sunday? Did you come home on Sunday afternoon? Yes, I left early, at about half past one. How long did it take to get home? Oh, about two hours, so I got home at half past three. Okay, number three, which is Jill's aunt? Okay, where is, okay, the answer is letter C, correct? Number four, what did Jill and her cousin do? Letter C is correct. And number five, what time did Jill arrive home on Sunday? Letter C is the answer. Okay, four points for you here, Mary. All right, next one. So now we are on the last part of listening activity, which is part number five. Okay, now, Mary, all you have to do is to listen and call her. There is one example. Part five. Listen and look at the picture. There is one example. Can you see the two trees? Yes. Well, color the leaves on the trees green. All of them. That's right. Can you see the green leaves? This is an example. Now you listen and colour and draw. 1. There are three butterflies in the picture. I see them. Draw some red stripes on the butterfly on the right. OK.
too. Next, I want you to find the boy who's fishing. Which one? There are three. Yes. Well, look at the tallest boy. OK. And colour his sweater blue. Yes. Three. Can you see the two swans? Yes. Colour them black. But swans are white. Not always. Right. Four. Now for some more colouring. Good. Find the boy who's catching a ball. Easy. Well, colour his shorts brown. Five. And last, I want you to do some more drawing. Ready. Draw a bridge across the river. Where do you want me to draw it? Between the boys who are fishing and the swans. Now listen to part five again. One. There are three butterflies in the picture. I see them. Draw some red stripes on the butterfly on the right. OK. Two. Next, I want you to find the boy who's fishing. Which one? There are three. Yes. Well, look at the tallest boy. OK. And colour his sweater blue. Yes. Three. Can you see the two swans? Yes. Colour them black. But swans are white. Not always. Right. Four. Now for some more colouring. Good. Find the boy who's catching a ball. Easy. Well, colour his shorts brown. Five. And last, I want you to do some more drawing. Ready. Draw a bridge across the river. Where do you want me to draw it? Between the boys who are fishing and the swans. That is the end of the Flyers Practice Listening Test 3. OK, are you finished um, drawing, Mary? OK, so let's check now your answers. Number one, draw red stripes on the butterfly on the right. OK, that's correct. Next one is color the sweater of the tallest boy, fashion blue. Correct. Number three, color both swans black. Correct. Four is color the shorts of the boy. Uh, what's this? Catching the ball, brown. OK, and last one, draw a bridge across the river between the boys who are fishing into the swan. OK, is that a bridge? Is that a bridge or a fish? <laughs> uh. mm. So what did you listen? Did you listen fish? No. And listen is... <laughs> Oh, but it looks like a fish or a jellyfish. What's that? 
<laughs> oh, what's that? What is this? Uh, what is this drawing? <laughs> oh, what's that? Okay. No problem. I will give you five points for that. Okay, good job, Mary. So now let's proceed to the next activity. Okay, wait for me. I will just open the next page. Okay, now we are in Unit 12B. Okay, let's begin. Oh, wait a minute. We are finishing this one. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I opened the wrong. Okay, here it is. Okay, so now, Mary, we are already in Unit 12B which is reading and writing activity. All right, so you can see here some words in part number one, okay? So part number one is look and write. Choose the correct words, okay? Example, this person works at an airport and flies planes. So the answer is a pilot. Okay, number one, Mary. Okay, can you read now the, the question together with your answer? The person writes stories for newspaper is a journalist. Okay, journalist is correct. Number two. You can put this in a field and sleep in it. It's a tent. A tent. Okay, number three. You need one of these if you want to open the door of your house. It's a key. A key. Number four. You can put a letter inside this. It's a card. A card. Oh, an envelope. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You can put a letter inside this. Well, yeah, you can write a letter in, in a card, okay? I will accept it, okay? Last one. This person can have at least a problem with a car is mechanic. Mechanic. Okay, that's correct, Mary. So I will give you um, five points in this first part. Okay, now let's proceed to the next one, Mary. People use one of these to rain it rains. It's an umbrella. 
people give one of these to their family and friends at Christmas. Present. You need to buy one. Okay. This if you want to send a postcard. When it is dark outside, you can see with this. It's a card. We work. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Number eight must be a stamp. Okay, okay. Number nine. What's your answer? Five days a week, and on these mm -hmm. Tuesday we play. Okay, a weekend is correct. All right, well, you have one wrong answer here, which is you said it's a card, but it must be a stamp. Okay, so one, two, three, four, total of nine points for you. Okay, so last, last activity, Mary, for tonight, we are going to answer part number two, which is look and read, write yes or no. All right, so look at the picture, Mary. All you have to do is to read the sentences and then decide if it's a yes or a no. Okay, let's begin, Mary, number one. Bandai is too tired to cross the door. The road. The panda is too tired to cross the road. Okay, it's yes. Oh, look at the panda. He is sitting down and looks so tired. Okay, how about number two, Mary? It's very foggy. Uh, do you know what's a foggy? Oh. How about the word fog? Do you know the word fog? No. Okay, so fog is like, it's like the um, cold breeze in the morning. For example, you go out of your house at 6 o'clock in the morning. The air is cold, right? And it's and it feels like it's going to rain so that is how you that is how foggy means okay uh, yes no no correct number three the elephant is pushing the bus it's no no, next. The man wearing a blue jacket has stopped at the traffic. Is yes. Yes, next. You are following the camera. No. The small and he uh, is carrying a is yes. Boy with curly hair is taking a photo. Is yes. Yes, also. Okay, very good, Mary. So you have one wrong answer, okay? One, two, three, four, five, and six points for you. All right, next one, Mary. Let's proceed to part number three with five questions. Read a conversation and choose the best answer. Write letter A to H for each answer. Okay, so I will help you read the conversation and then all you have to do is to answer it. Okay, I will be Tom. I didn't. What's your favorite food, Helen? 
Okay, what's your answer? What what's the letter of your answer? I didn't. What's your favorite food, Helen? Okay, mine's pasta. Who cooks your lunch? Letter E, my sister, she likes green that. Okay, letter E, do you like cooking sometimes? Letter G. Yes, uh, but I only like making easy things. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's fun. When did you start cooking? I was about seven. It's difficult to remember. What time do you have your lunch? Is D no season time the same time as you? It's letter H at about midday. Usually, midday means it's lunch. Okay, me too. See you later. Okay, so again, midday means it's lunch time or afternoon. Okay, so four points for you, Mary. All right, well, Mary, this is the last part of our activity for tonight. So we are just going to continue this one tomorrow. Okay, Mary? Okay. All right, that will be all. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye.